So my name is Casey Beans, and I'm a barbering student from the Longmont campus. Giving a speech in front of this many people isn't something that I would typically be jumping at the opportunity to do. Um, when the idea got brought up to me, my immediate thoughts of anxiety and fear completely took over. However, I thought about it long and hard and ultimately decided it was important for me to show my children, Remy and Eden, that it's important to take opportunities when they're given to you, even when they make you scared. I also felt compelled to give this speech because I was informed that there has never been a barbering student to give a speech at an IBMC graduation. So what, are, so what better time is there now than now to represent us barbers? <laughs> so we are a small and unique group. Some may say we're loud, that we like to go against the grain, and that we're not very tactful. However, I like to say we're boisterous, bold, and honest. I started my first class at IBMC on October 26, 2021, and I'll never forget the drive that day. I was a nervous wreck. I questioned what I was doing literally the entire drive. Was I actually going to be able to make it through the whole program? Would my children adapt to me not being around as much? Was I asking too much of my husband and mother by having them pick up all the slack? What if I made it through the whole program and actually wasn't even good at cutting hair? I had so many doubts. And on top of all those doubts, I felt like I was going to be so different from everybody else in the barbering program. Being an older student, a female, married, and having kids, I felt like I wouldn't be able to make connections with people. I had this idea that all the students would be 18 years old and fresh out of high school. I didn't know what I would actually have in common with the other students. My plan was just to keep my head down, be quiet, and stick to myself. I built up my walls, and I kept telling myself that I wasn't there to make any friends. That whole plan I had lasted for about one week. Looking back, I don't feel like I was the only one that came in that way. I think we all came in with our walls built up. But as we got to know each other and our instructor, Miss Emily, those walls slowly came down. This group that I got to go through this program with was better than anything I could have asked for. We joked, we laughed, we encouraged each other, we had each other's backs, and we made it fun. I can honestly say that I've made lifelong friends here. I have a, a unique relationship with each of my fellow barbers that I value and I'm grateful for. I want nothing but the best for each and every one of them. I want this speech, I want to use this speech to highlight the important aspects of my fellow barbers. We all have very unique pasts, unique situations, life struggles, and opportunities. We all come from different walks of life, but we're all united in this place and time for a reason. Although our differences were many, we all shared the same desire, and that was to become a barber. This common desire united us. When things got hard, when the thoughts of giving up manifested, our tight-knit group was always there for each other, reminding each other of their reason why. This is what kept each of us going, and the fact that we genuinely wanted to see each other's success, to see each person reach their goal and to better their lives. Just like so many people here, I've put my blood, sweat, and tears into this program. And I mean that literally. I've cut myself countless of times with my straight razor and shears. I sweat for two weeks straight on those 100 degree days on the salon floor when we had no air conditioning. Uh, <laughs> and I've cried. I've cried a lot. Tears of sadness, tears of joy, tears of frustration, and tears of pure exhaustion. 
I'll be honest, I didn't expect barbering school to be as hard as it was. I had this idea that we would all come in, learn to cut hair, and just have a good old time. I didn't anticipate the tests, the pages of workbooks, the lectures on diseases and disinfection, theory papers, sign-offs, and perms. The dreaded perms. <laughs> However, the toughness of the program has made this graduation that much more satisfying. After expressing the experiences shared by the barbering students, I wanted to gather thoughts and feelings and experiences from all the senior students at the IBMC Longmont campus. I conducted a survey to gather these perspectives. Common words and expressions were discovered that spoke of fear, worry, anxiety, and doubt. This led me to question, what was the key factor that helped each of us walk through the doors of IBMC on day one? The answers, to better ourselves, to learn a new skill we had a passion for, to build a better future, and to be an example for our children. This survey also showed that each student had someone who supported their journey. For some, it was a spouse. For others, it was a parent, a cousin, a neighbor, or a friend. Because of these supporters, we are here celebrating today. Although many faced scrutiny from people who expressed doubts about this life decision, we all shared that one person who showed us unwavering support, that one person who gave us the confidence and the courage to walk through those doors on day one, that one person who kept the faith that we would succeed. And because we all had that one person who pushed, supported, and rooted us on, we met each other. We gained knowledge and confidence we faced the trials and tests of a demanding program, and we succeeded together. So as I look out to all who are graduating today, I want you to think about that one person who gave you the support you needed to be here today. I challenge each of you to pay it forward. Be that one person for somebody else. Give somebody the confidence and courage to pursue their dreams. Be that one person that somebody else thinks of while they sit in a graduation ceremony, when they earn a degree, when they graduate basic training from the military, when they master their trade, or when they have a badge pinned on their chest. I've learned so much from this experience at IBMC. Yes, a trade and a skill that I can forever use but also to be that one person from somebody else. I congratulate each of you and wish you success and happiness. It wouldn't be fair to end without giving the proper thank yous where thank yous are due. So first and foremost, of course, I would like to thank my husband for being my one and for giving me the push I needed to follow a dream that I've had for many years. I would also like to thank my mother for being so selfless and giving up the past 13 months of her own personal time to help care for my children while I attended school. I would like to thank my family members who trusted me enough to give them facials, shave their faces, <laughs> cut and color their hair. They were so brave. I would like to thank Miss Emily for teaching us to support one, in, one, of it, to support one another instead of competing against each other and for teaching us that it's okay to laugh at yourself because nobody's perfect. I would like to thank Miss Tina for teaching us to beat our chest and be brave. I would like to thank Ms. Shar for pushing us to do more and simply be better people. I would like to thank Ms. Mary for being so cool, always laid back, caring, and understanding. 
I would like to thank Devin for always supporting us and never complaining when I asked her to run my hours. I asked her about 500 times. <laughs> And lastly, thank you to IBMC for giving us the opportunity to chase our dreams.